Welcome back Kaiju Kitties, this is Aiden, and today we are drawing the Blade-Brained Bruiser Giron from the Gamera series. Gamera is a topic of a lot of love and a lot of hate, even from hardcore Kaiju fans, and I think a lot of it is dealing with a series that is very silly and very much intended for children, which obviously gets some fanboys up in a snit. Those of you who watched my drawing video for Egghead might remember the way I discussed the Batman series from the 60s where when you're a little kid you love it to death, when you get a little older you hate it and think it's stupid and wimpy and whatever, and then when you come back to it as an adult not only is it a lot better than you remember it but you also get a lot of the humor of it, and I think a lot of that is very true for Gamera. Yes, it's very much intended for children, but when you see it at an older age, you can just really appreciate the fact that, you know, it was silly and funny and really outlandish and very much its own thing. For a series that was originally conceived as just a Godzilla ripoff, the Gamera series found their own voice pretty quickly. A lot of that really strange, surreal tone started with Gamera vs. Giron. When you look at some of the creature designs, the, the designs earlier before Giron were, you know, pretty standard kaiju, even if the superpower were a little weird. Gamera, you know, was just a monster turtle. Gaios is kind of the bat pterosaur mix. Barugan, big lizard. Virus, squid. Now, their powers are what made them outlandish, you know, shooting rainbows and turning into UFOs and all that stuff, too. But the series, I think, really, really took big chances when it came up with Giron. Just... Just look at this thing. I mean, first of all, it, it does a little bit annoy me when I have to draw a monster whose head I can't fit into the picture, but there's no choice with gear on. If you really have never seen what this creature looks like, go watch the movie or do a Google image search for it, and I guarantee you there is really nothing like it up until it was ripped off for Pacific Rim, where you know, every, every kaiju in that movie has a big knife for a head. Well, it started with this guy, whatever the hell he is. I think that's the reason why I love Giron so much, was just, it's a very unique design. There was nothing really quite like it before in Kaiju Ega, and you definitely would not have seen something like this in the Godzilla Showa series, maybe until the 70s, but even then. I, I don't know, do you do you consider Gigan to be a stranger design than Giron? Maybe they're, maybe, well, they're, they're cut from the same cloth. Uh, cut! <laughs> I hate myself. Gamera vs. Giron is a strange, strange, strange movie. I personally get a kick out of it, with or without uh, the Mystery Science Theater treatment. I will be discussing Mystery Science Theater and Gamera another time, for here and now we got plenty of fat to chew, which is Giron alone. That movie is a lot of fun. It takes a lot of chances. It's... is it dumb? Yes. Is dumb okay? Depends on what you're into. I personally think it's fine for the Gamera series. This is also the film with that very famous fight with uh, Giron and the Space Gaios where he chops him apart, very much like the, <laughs> the Black Knight from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Giron sadly never really returned in too much else, with one exception. He made a stock footage appearance in my personal favorite Gamera movie, and every one of you out there is going to think I'm completely insane and hunt me down and kill me for saying this. My favorite Gamera movie is Super Monster. Yep, the stock footage one. The cheap $2 budget equivalent to Gamera doing their own Destroy All Monsters, but with, with you know, no budget whatsoever. And it's still a funny, crazy, insane movie with superhero women and a weird alien. And Seek it out if you get a chance, and you'll get to see Giron one more time, oddly enough doing the exact same moves he did in Gamma vs. Giron. I, I wonder why. That is Giron. He's a very sharp fellow. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon backers for choosing this monster. You guys are just as insane as I am. Thank you for watching. Sayonara.